welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for another Lights Out bedtime story? Good, because you're in for a treat tonight with part three, chapter 13 of Thing by David Williams. And this chapter is called Underpants and Socks. Mr. Meekle's journey to the deepest, darkest, jungliest jungle was long. And when I say long, I mean long. It involved a plane, a train, a ship, roller skates, a toboggan, a donkey, a canoe, a camel, a bicycle, a hang glider, another donkey, a hot air balloon, and a rather peeved looking emu. After a month, he really should have packed more underpants and socks, as they were now only being changed weekly. Father looked as state. His glasses had cracked. He had grown a long straggly beard. His clothes were torn into rags and, horror upon horror, he had lost one of his sandals. Worst of all, the Monsterpedia book was now overdue and there was already a substantial fine of ten pence to pay. However, 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 none of that really mattered as Mr. Meek had finally reached his destination the deepest, darkest, jungliest jungle, home of the Thing. In case you were wondering where the deepest, darkest, jungliest jungle is, and might be suspecting I have simply made it up, please peruse the map on the next page. Hmm. This is a map of the deepest, darkest, jungliest jungle. With a start, the jungle, very jungly jungle, extremely jungly jungle, very extremely jungly jungle, and in the middle, the deepest, darkest, jungliest jungle, home of the thing. Then on the way out, more jungle, not so jungly, less jungly, yet more jungle, hardly any jungle at all, definitely not jungle, the end of the jungle. Now that he was in the deepest, darkest, jungliest jungle, Mr. Meek had to find a thing. The problem was, he couldn't spot one anywhere. The end of part 3, chapter 13 of Thing by David Williams, here on the Lights Up podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good night.